And hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I am your host, Nicodemus Kane, and we have been traveling through the SNES moderately classic game called Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Um, I only say moderate classic because not everybody likes this game. I have recently been going on uh, YouTube and looking around to see just what other people were saying about it, and boy howdy. I did not realize that this game had so much hate. Apparently it does. I don't know. I, um... I have never had a problem with it. I know I've said this before uh, on other episodes, and it's always... It always was a somewhat classic to me because I grew up with this. I mean, this was, you know, this was one that we rented and it was part of my teenage years and the whole thing. So, you know, it will always hold that kind of special place in my heart. Um, even though it is, uh, even though it is baby's first Final Fantasy, I, I will admit that absolutely. <laughs> but, but I am enjoying it. Uh, I have enjoyed it thus far, and I'm still enjoying it. I, it is very simplistic, but, you know, we are able to go through it and kind of talk and chit-chat and not really have to worry about too much. I, I, it is possible to die in this game. Uh, we found that out the hard way. <laughs> so, so you know, there's, it, there's something to be said about it, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah, I, uh... Not too much has happened around here lately. Um, we did go to Distant Worlds on Saturday, uh, which by the time I'm recording, the time I'm recording this, uh, it is the 20th of September. So you guys probably won't even see this until a week after. But yes, we got to go to Distant Worlds, and it was pretty damn cool. Uh, it was um, very cool, actually, very exceptional. I had a good time. Uh, Angie B had a good time. I um, we got to see uh, Nabuo Amatsu uh, come up on stage, and you know he he is a jokester. That one, he's a he's a cool dude. He uh, never there was never a time during that whole concert where he did not have a smile on his face. So we we had a pretty good time. Look at this. So are these just like ice blocks? Yeah, they are. Holy crap, man, they are stacking the deck on me here, aren't they? Wow. Okay. But yeah, it was it was fun. It was really fun. The uh, the extra orchestra was amazing. Uh, they played just about every hit that you could possibly think of. Um, all the while joking about, you know, playing certain songs and not playing certain songs. They... They teased one winged angel so much through that entire concert. It was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it was, it was insane. It was like um, at the very end of it, uh, what was his? Is his name Roth? I don't remember his, the uh, the actual conductor's name. I think it's Roth. Anyways, he pulls uh, Uematsu up, and he's he you know towards the it was towards the end of the show. And uh, he was like, you know, well, we wanna we wanna play something special from uh, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, do you have anything that you wanna hear? And Uematsu is uh, being real coy about it, you know, and kind of thinking about it. And it eventually gets to the point where he says, uh, "Eris." You know, I, I, the way he said it was Aerith, of course. So it turned out to be Aerith's theme. And it wasn't One Winged Angel. And, you know, I'm just sitting there thinking, there's no way in hell they're going to let us leave this building without playing One Winged Angel. I mean, it just, you know, it's just absolutely ridiculous for them to even remotely think that we're just going to sit here and let them not play One Winged Angel. But then they got done playing uh, Air's theme, and then, of course, they played One Winged Angel. And it, was, it was really, really cool. Um... They played a lot of other interesting ones. Uh, he said there was a lot of ones that they had, they had never played before. But they had, you know, they were trying out new stuff. I don't have the program with me. The program is upstairs, actually. But a very, very nice program. <laughs> I, uh, 
was saying I need to get a program uh, just to say that you know we came here we did this you know I, I always tend to buy a program to anything I go to just to say you know this is this is where we went this is what happened and these programs they were 25 bucks a piece but man were they some quality stuff I need to do some kind of video or something where I go through this pro I still need to do uh, the sky the three books that I got and go through those holy hell what the hell did he hit me with well it was it was very very cool though but yeah it was it was it was well worth the trip I don't know if uh, we were talking about the price of the seats and we were like well you know I don't know if it was absolutely worth what we paid for these seats but we both enjoyed it it was uh, it was definitely a hell of a trip so no matter what I what you would do here you'd have to fight at least two of these guys well, fuck it, we'll just fight them both when you start getting smart about this it's like she's well when she hits well when either one of us hits what the hell was that but uh, if if the turtle is is weak against the axe, then I need to start killing him with the axe. Mm. Apparently, those uh, the baby birds, baby diaper birds, <laughs> are weak against arrows. Mm. Shit. But it was worth the trip. We had fun. Uh, it was definitely a long ride, because I'll tell you what, from Indianapolis to Chicago is a trip and a half. Uh, that was a good, uh, what was it, three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. And of course, we got there, and uh, we prepaid for parking. So it was, it was just an experience and a half just to be able to find the parking garage. And then once we found it, you know, we got parked. And thankfully the garage that we got was just outside of this place. Because we got there and the doors had already been open for about 30 minutes or so. And there was already people in there. Uh, not as many cosplayers as I thought I was going to see. There were um, several. But not like it was overloaded with cosplay. I figured we would see like just a bunch of, you know, cosplays. But there was really nothing. I think we saw... Um, I saw a uh, Tifa from the the movie, the um, whatever the hell the name of the Final Fantasy VII movie was right now that I can't think of. It's, it's not really on top of my head. Um, what was that? Advent Children. There you go. Um, but we saw a Tifa from that, and we saw several Yunus. Uh, there was probably about four or five Yunus. Um, Saw a couple other ones too. I can't really think of most what most of them are. No, I don't want that. I keep doing that. All right, I have to use another one of these seeds on her to get her magic back up because her magic, I only have to burn one cure spell in order to heal us all the way. Who are you, fish head? Oh my god. Squidite. Is that like a regular squid? Just, you know, squidite? Is it like a deadite? <laughs> like, like Army of Darkness deadite? Oh my god. He looks pissy. Oh, he fried my ass. My magic went down too. What the hell is that all about? Defense is down. So that's what those refresher things are for. Okay. I gotcha. Well, you know what, Mr. Squid Eye? Let me tell you what you're weak against. You are weak against... Um, well... You're not going to be weak against any of this, because I don't have enough... You, on the other hand... She has a fire and a thunder. You're weak against thunder, because you're a water creature. Oh, yes. Attack with blackness. That's ignorant. <laughs> nice, look at his eyes. 
bitch. Skadoosh. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? That was like an out of nowhere hit. What did he hit me with? I didn't even see it. Now oh, he's really slamming me though. Alright, one more thunder should kill this bastard. No? Really? There we go. Alright. Oh, uh, that must be the Libra chest. Let's take it and go to the Libra temple. There's a mark there that looks just like the design on the crest. Stand on it and we'll be warped to the life temple. Okay, found a Libra crest. Alright. Well, cool. Now I gotta go all the way back out, but before we do that, I just want to make sure we got everything out of here. I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Yes, I do have the strategy guide for this. Uh, <laughs> I've been talking, talking a lot about this strategy guide, which, for this game, it, it boggles the mind why there would even be a strategy guide made for this. So, so you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you have a, a what to what game now? I mean, it's as if you would have a strategy guide to, I don't know, Pac-Man or something, you know? Even though Pac-Man, there is some kind of strategy to it, it would be that kind of crazy, you know? Or, um... No, really, that, that's about it, really. It would be as if you had a strategy guide to Pac-Man. So which way are we going? Are we going this way? Yeah. But I said I was going to use it just to be able to make sure that we got, like, all the chests and stuff. Because there are some hidden things in this game. Um, not much hidden things, but there's enough that if you don't, you know, if you're not looking for every little tiny detail, you might miss it. Like, there was one where I didn't know that I was supposed to, uh, you know, break a certain thing in one of the dungeons. Break, there was, like, skulls, and I didn't know you are supposed to break them with a bomb. And it led to a, a separate room where you're supposed to go to get a, an item. It's like, well, you know, it's good to know that now, you know? So that's the only reason. I mean, we're not using it for strategies on how to kill monsters. Oh, my God. Uh, there's another battlefield here. Well, we're just going to go through these. Uh, for anyone that is new, I go through all the battlefields. Oh, my God, look at these assholes. Desert hag. No, I didn't want to attack with thunder. Shit. Damn, roasted his ass. Look at that face. Look at that horrible, horrible face. Blah! There we go. But we're gonna go do this. Oh, we're gonna, probably gonna wind up finishing up on these. And then we will probably stop. I've been trying to keep these... I've been trying to keep these, uh... These videos kind of short. Um... And that's only been because I am gearing up for October. I know I've said this in the last episodes. But, uh... Because October I do pretty much all scary video games or horror type of video games even on the arcade Saturdays uh, believe me it's not easy trying to pick up uh, trying to figure out what kind of arcade games you can play that are scary and spooky there are some out there I mean believe me <laughs> there's some out there but you know when you, when you are really really trying to hunt to find these things they just they don't want to come to you but I have a couple lined up. It'll be interesting. <laughs> It'll be interesting, to say the least. But, because I'm doing all horror games, I am probably... I didn't want to do it, but I think I'm going to have to do it. I am probably going to stop every other video... Or every other series that I'm doing right now. That means all the Final Fantasy stuff is going to go away for an entire month. It sounds ridiculous, I know. It's not killing me. I, I thought the sword might kill him a little faster. I guess not. 
But it sounds ridiculous, I know, but that's that's what I'm planning on doing. So, you know. Oh, shit. I wonder if, if bombs... Probably not. They'll probably just disperse the... Yeah, see? That didn't really do shit. I wonder if the claw does any better to him. Strong against paralyzed attacks. Nope. So I guess it's just the axe then. See the axe or the sword. I think the sword was a little bit better. I think the sword was, what, 180-something? Oh, shit. 160. Alright, so the sword is a little bit better at killing him than the axe. Hey, you gotta, you got damn it, I did it again. You gotta know these things, you know? It helps, sometimes. Of course, Phoebe over here with the bow and arrow, man, she's doing great. But see, that's the way it should be. It should be just one hit kills all the way around. I know, I'm asking for a lot. But you know, damn it, I'm the one playing the game, I should be able to ask for a lot. Alright. So, in interesting Final Fantasy news, um, <laughs> I heard, I've been hearing several things. Apparently, they are going to be giving us some new stuff. Um, what's the next gaming convention? Is it T TGS? I think that's what it is. I don't remember exactly what it was. But they're supposed to be giving us some new stuff there, and they have already uh, dropped some interesting, interesting stuff on us. Um... Out of the blue yesterday, they dropped... We're not supposed to go here, are we? Where are we? Where are we supposed to go? Out of the blue yesterday, Lieber Temple. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go. Out of the blue yesterday, they dropped Final Fantasy IX for PlayStation 4. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Just completely ridiculous. So let's go ahead and do this. It's a life temple. That must be the spring of life. The water's dried up. It's hopeless now. Don't give up yet. There's someone inside. Let's have a look. Someone inside of where? Here? There's nothing there. What's here? Oh, nice. Life temple. There's a boat over there. It's a boat on the side of the mountain. Um. Oh, it's that dude. Quarry is in great danger. I know that. We need wake water to melt the ice. But the wake water is dried up. It's hopeless. Hear me! All that's left of the wake water is in this bag. Take it and go back to Aquaria. Okay. Well, we got that. So what's in here? Cure potions. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I think that's a good place to stop. We're right at the 20-minute mark. Well, so I can get some more... Now, see, I like that. I mean, you know, to be able to, to walk out of a dungeon, come back into it. Alright, so we're just going to walk over here, but we're not going to go into it. There we go, okay. So, guys, thank you very much for coming around and checking us out. I've been Nicodemus Kane. This has been Final Fantasy Mystic Quests. This is Super Nintendo old school. Oh, yeah. I've been enjoying it. I've been having fun. But anyways, uh, come back next time, uh, and we will go into Aquarium and see what it is, and then if there's a next time after that, it'll probably be on the other side of October. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> it is what it is, though, because, you know, it's Halloween is, is like my favorite all-time holiday, so I'm going to do something special for it. So look out for that. It's a Resident Evil 2 playthrough, and I will be having some spooky, scary games for Arcade Saturdays, and possibly something 
Something we did last year that might be interesting. We might pull out the old drinking games and try something different. I don't know. Keep an eye out on that, though. Thank you guys very much for uh, watching yet again. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, or don't. And until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world asks for you. God bless. Take care. Um, I usually say something Final Fantasy related here, but I don't really have anything. So take it easy.